Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, so now we want to look at uh, technique of integration by integration by parts. Okay. So for integration by parts, we have a formula where the formula is when you want to integrate u dv. So it will be equal to u v minus integration of v du. Okay. So what we see here is we need to substitute parts of the, the uh, function into u and dv. Okay. For example, we have integration of x exponent x dx ok so there will be a part that we let it equal to u and there will be a part that we equal it to dv ok so for u we take uh, for this kind of example we take u is equal to x and dv is equal to exponent to the power of x Okay, so we what we do is u we di differentiate u so it becomes du equal to dx and for dv we integrate dv so it becomes v equal to exponent to the power of x. Okay, that will be a thing lah. So where u we differentiate and the dv we integrate. Okay, so one of the tips here make sure that the one that you let it to be u is the one that is easy to be differentiated and the one that you let it with dv is the one that it, that it is easy to be integrated as usah tu nak cakap kan alright so now we have it here so and we can substitute the u du dv and dv into the equation so this kind of equation need to be memorized Okay, so u is x and v is exponent x minus integration of v that is exponent x and multiply it with du so du is dx so now we have x exponent power of x minus so integration of exponent x is still exponent x so then we add plus c so that will be the answer ok so for integration by parts there is uh, tips that you can memorize that you, you need to take note ok we call it as L pad what is called as what is L pad actually so in integration by part the most crucial thing is you need to know you need to identify which one that you need to let it to be equal to u so kat sini lah so here is the apa ni uh, keutamaan the priority that you need to give so that it will be let equal to u so number one is logarithm sorry logarithm Second is polynomial That yang ada X lah Because it's a polynomial And third is the exponential And fourth is the trigonometry So that is what I call as the L pad So next time if you want to do integration by part You need to know which one that need to be equal to u so you can um, refer to this l pad priority so the first priority will be given to logarithm second given to polynomial of x third this the exponential and fourth is the trigonometry okay but this situation is not it's not cannot be used all the time but can be used most of the time Okay, that makes you easy to determine which one that need to be equal to u so the others will be equal to d 
V. Okay, never mind. After this, we will look at more examples that will include the usage of this LPAT priority. Alright, so now let's look at example number 2. Is to integrate x square ln x dx. Alright, so remember the LPAT. The first priority is to let u equal to a logarithm. So now we let u equal to ln x. Okay. So u is equal to ln x. So that means dv will be equal to x square. So du is equal to 1 over x dx. So v is equal to x power of 3 over 3 so now we substitute into the equation that is u v minus v d u ok so now we substitute u is ln x and v is x power of 3 over 3 minus integration of v is x power of 3 over 3 and du is 1 over x dx so x power of 3 over 3 ln x minus so x can be removed so then we have integration 1 over 3 integration of x square dx so equal to x power of 3 over 3 ln x minus 1 over 3 x power of 3 over 3 d oops sorry plus c so x power of 3 over 3 ln x minus x power of 3 over 9 plus c so that will be the answer of the integration of x square ln x dx Okay, so now example number 3 is to integrate ln x square dx. So for this one, we let u equal to ln x square. So what will be equal to dv? So dv can just be equal to 1. So we differentiate du is equal to 2 ln x. So then we differentiate 1 over x. Differentiate ln x, it become 1 over x dx. So du is equal to 2 over x ln x dx. Alright, so integration of dv equal to 1 So means d will be equal to x Alright, and then Now We substitute it into the equation uv minus integration of v du So u is ln x square and v is x minus integration of x and du is 2 over x ln x dx ok so for this one so we have x ln x square so x can be removed so minus 2 integration of ln x dx ok so now we want to integrate ln x but the problem is that ln x in the integration of ln x dx we need to do uh, integration by parts one more time so it will be equal to x oh sorry so we just proceed to it like this where we let u equal to ln x so du is equal to 1 over x dx and dv is equal to 1 
and v is equal to x alright so from here we substitute it again into another equation of integration by parts that includes the x ln x square so x ln x square minus 2 so a bracket so here start the another equation of uv minus integration of v du so uv is x ln x minus integration of v so x and du is 1 over x dx so equal to x ln x square minus 2 x ln x so x can be removed so the integration of 1 minus x plus c so the final answer is x ln x square minus 2 x ln x minus plus 2 x plus c ok so that is the final answer for this integration ok so our next example number 4 is the integration of x square exponent negative 3 x dx so for this one by using the L pad is the second most priority is the polynomial so then we let u equal to x square so du is equal to 2x dx and our dv is exponent to the power negative 3 ok so we integrate v and it will be equal to exponent of negative 3x over negative 3 ok so now we substitute into the equation so then we have u v minus v d u that equal to u is x square and v is negative exponent power negative 3x over negative over 3 so minus integration of v that is exponent negative 3x over negative 3 and our d u is 2x dx so for this part it will be equal to negative x square exponent negative 3 x over 3 plus 2 over 3 and integration of x x exponent negative 3 x dx ok so when we face this kind of function this kind of equation that need to be integrated so we need to do integration by part one more time so let u equal to x so du equal to dx so v is equal to exponent negative 3 x oh sorry this dv so v is equal to as negative exponent negative 3 x over 3 so then we substitute it into the formula of integration by parts negative x square exponent negative 3 x over 3 plus 2 over 3 and uv is x negative x exponent negative 3 x over 3 minus integration of v so negative exponent negative 3 x over 3 du oh sorry dx dx So it becomes negative x square exponent negative 3x over 3 plus 2 over 3 negative x exponent negative 3x over 3 plus 1 over 3 exponent negative 3x over negative 3. 
plus C ok so now we have equal to negative x square exponent negative 3x over 3 plus 2 over 3 negative x exponent negative 3x over 3 minus exponent negative 3x over 9 plus c then equal to negative x square exponent negative 3x over 3 minus x exponent negative 3x so sorry this is minus 2 over 9 so minus 2 exponent negative 3x over 27 plus c so this is the final answer of the integration so from here you need to know that sometimes when you do uh, integration by parts sometimes the condition requires you to do integration by parts one more time